stopping by, and hey, Happy New Year to you. You know, every year at Christmas, we all spend a little more than we should, and I remember something that I always really wanted at Christmas, and my mother got to make it later on in life. That was jerky. Now, I'm going to show you how to make it. I ain't got no fancy dehydrator or nothing like that. I'm going to make it in an oven. We're going to show you how to make a piece of beef jerky that is so good, so tender, and you don't have to take a long at the bank. This will beat any truck stop jerky you ever had in your life. Easy to fix. All you got in it's about overnight sitting and three hours in the oven, ready to go. Y'all come on by. We're going to show you how to make it. All right, folks. I've got a rump roast here, bottom round rump roast. You can use chuck roast. You can use a brisket flat. I've even made it out of flank. Whatever it is you're going to make this jerky out of, first let's chill it about 45 minutes. I don't want it froze, but I want it stiff enough that I can slice this meat as thin as I can. Jerky dries faster, it's better that way. So we took it out of the ice box, it's ready to go. Make sure you got a sharp knife. We're gonna slice this just as thin as we can. That's why we froze this rascal a little, so it'll sort of stand up when we cut it. You try to cut this when it's warm, you end up making a mess and cutting your finger sometimes. You can do deer this way, buffalo. I know people that have made it out of turkey. Hey, and get the kids involved. My mother used to let us make this when we were little, so. It's the best way to make a snack. All right, now folks, when you go to making jerky, and if it's got any fat at all or anything running through here, fat in meat sure gives flavor. Marble and stuff like that, we all know. But if you leave a little too much fat in a piece of jerky and it doesn't dry out long enough, it's the first thing that's going to try to turn rancid. If it's not sealed good, then you're going to create that mold problem. So if I run across a big piece, you just cut it out. Right down that line. We'll go back and trim that. We'll get some more out of it. But here we are back with a lean piece of meat. I'm just going to go make, make sure that there's any ends that I need to clean up just a little. Because I want this to be good and lean. And when it dries, I want it to dry pretty even. So I'm just going to get rid of this little bit of fat that's on the edges here and we'll be good to go. This is pretty clean anyway, being certified Angus beef, you're not gonna have much trouble. But you can see, they're nice and thin. This marinade mixed up well. And it's down, to, it's down to the easy part now again. We're just going to dip these in here, both sides, coat them good, because this is going to get to soak overnight. So we'll make sure we mix it well when we get them all in there. Just make sure you get both sides coated. Put them in here. Now the recipe that we give you, hey, if you want to add something to this, be our guest. Put you some red pepper flakes in there. Put you a little more soy, a little teriyaki. It's wide open. Just remember, start with good beef. Cut it thin, make sure it's pretty lean, you're going to make good jerky. We got all this sort of dipped in there, but we're going to mix it well in here, make sure that everybody's got some of this love juice on it, this marinade. Then we're going to put the lid on it, stick it in the ice box, let it set for at least six hours. I like to let mine set overnight, get more flavor soaked in there, but it's going to be good, I guarantee you. Right on the set, we're going to, what, would you two be quiet? No, 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 listen, we're not going to, to the store to get jerky, we're going to make some jerky, y'all both like jerky, don't you, we're going to make some jerky, yes we are, I don't know. Let's make it now, you two. Let's make some jerky. Maybe we have these two quieted down. They're very anxious for jerky day, they are, as you can tell. I mean, they. this is our test kitchen. These are our test objects here. They will eat it before you ever get the chance. All right, we've turned this oven on to about 175 to 180 degrees. As I say, we're not, we don't have a fancy dehydrator. We're gonna cook it the way mom always did in the oven. We took this jerky out of the icebox, going to let it set about 30 minutes probably. Sort of warms it up before we start. 
Then we're going to take the grates out of this oven. This is one of the most important things if you want to save a butt beating from your wife, I promise. We're going to wrap these in full because we put that jerky on there, I guarantee you it's going to make a mess. We've got our oven preheated, lined it with foil so we don't make a mess. This jerky, we stirred it, make sure everybody was coated good, make sure it doesn't have any wrinkles in it, make sure it's laying flat. Make sure that you're not covering a piece up by another piece, leave you a little room in between. I've got this on one rack, but if you need to do two, make sure you light them both to place it halfway through the cooking process. If you're using two racks, you're going to have to rotate the one from top to bottom. Now, I like to make sure everybody is good and soaked, but I want to make sure they get a little extra. So what's left off this marinade, I'm going to give everybody one more bath with it. You can do this with a spoon, paintbrush, anything in the world you want to use. I like to also put a little black pepper on mine. Not all of you may like that much spice. This has got black pepper in it, but I'm going to add a little more to it. Not all of them. If you like it peppered, just get you some coarse ground black pepper. Sprinkle it on a few of them, or all of them if you want. I'm going to make sure they stick good. I don't want them to run off. Hey, wait, hey. Well, as you can tell, the beagle says it's ready to go. So, put a rack in there. You see we're not on the plumb bottom rack, but we're pretty close. You can even put it in the middle. Don't make me no difference. So we got her ready to go. Shut that oven. Now, my mother always told me, we want this jerky to dry out too as it cooks. We want to give it a little air to circulate. So take that pot holder. Put it in this door, just where it gets a little air. This way this meat dries out. It's less apt to mold as you keep it if you seal it somewhere. Well folks, it's been about an hour and a half and we're shooting for around three. Let's check this jerky and see if it needs to be turned over. Ooh, it smells good, it does. All right, you can see how this is drying out on top pretty well. So let's, we're going to flip it and let this dry on the other side for a while. Then we'll have jerky. It sure does smell good, sure does look good. Slide her back in there and let her go, folks. We're getting close, we are. It's been about three hours looking at the clock. We rotated this once and flipped it. Let's check. We're going to break this and make sure you can see it's about the same color consistency all the way. I don't want this so dry and brittle that when you take it, it breaks apart like some jerky is too dry. So it all depends on how you like your jerky. It's chewy or you want it really hard and crisp. You can cook it longer. But when you cook it longer and make it like that, it's going to get really brittle. I like for mine to have a little texture to it. This is just right. So we're going to let this cool. Put it on a wire rack. We're going to let this sit here and dry till all this moisture that you see here is gone. Both sides. It'll cool good with this wire rack. Won't take it long. Then it'll be ready to store. When all this moisture is gone and this jerky is plumb dried out, then we can talk about how we want to store this. Now, if I'm just leaving it out for us to eat around the house, I'll take a plastic freezer bag, put me a paper towel in the bottom, put the jerky in there, try to mash the air out, and then seal it. Because anything you put in plastic, if it's got any moisture left in, it's going to sweat. That's where you're going to get the mold. A lot of people are going to take this, let it come and get good and dry. You put it in one of them old mason jars, it's got the bale with the rubber around it, snap that thing down tight, it'll keep. But I think the best way to store it, if you're going to keep it any length of time at all, put it in the freezer. I think we might ought to try this, Shan, before we let people even think that it's... It sounds like jerky, like that ripping sound. 
That is good. Um, Let me get a close-up beauty shot. Okay, now smile. This is good, I promise you. You can be able to put this out there. The people will enjoy this, I promise. Okay. Mm. It ain't going to last long, though. There. Sign off. Folks, we hope you really enjoyed this. Visit us on the website. Go to our YouTube page. Sign up for email. We're always coming up with something. God bless you each and every one.